Hi guys, welcome to Selvin Kitchen today. In Selvin Kitchen where I was doing something new. So one of my subscribers sent me a comment and said he wanted to see me cook some jerk chicken. That's all right then. I'm gonna buy some chicken. I'm gonna go jerk some chicken and show him how I jerk the chicken. I just buy a box of chicken. I already washed the chicken already. I already cleaned up the chicken already. I already bore some hole in the chicken because I want the season to go right down in the chicken to marinate the chicken properly. So I gotta marinate this chicken from overnight tonight and tomorrow I'm gonna jerk it. So the chicken already already prepared already. So this is all the season what I'm gonna use. I gotta have some all-purpose season. I'm gonna use four tablespoons of all-purpose season. I'm gonna use three tablespoons of brown sugar. So this is my own make jerk season what I make you guys can check out my channel and watch my video what I do with jerk season I have a lot of awesome delicious recipe there so people please check it out I'm gonna put a, a little bit of salt in it a pimento not, not, my, my apologies not pimento nutmeg I'm gonna put some nutmeg in it I'm gonna put some onion powder I'm gonna put some garlic powder in it so hi guys, we're gonna do now we're gonna seize up this chicken to this chicken to marinate. The well, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add in some all purpose season. So we're gonna add in four tablespoons of all purpose season, because this is one box of chicken. So it's a lot of chicken. So that is two spoon of all purpose season. It is three spoon. So you need a lot of season, because it's a lot of chicken people. I'm gonna marinate this chicken overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna jerk this chicken so I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of nutmeg one teaspoon of nutmeg got some garlic powder I'm gonna put in two teaspoon of garlic powder Yes, people, the two teaspoon of garlic powder. Onion powder, I put in another two teaspoon of onion powder. The two teaspoon of onion powder, people. Sprinkle that all over it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to it. And I add in two teaspoons of salt. It's a box of chicken, people. It's a lot of chicken. So my homemade season now. You can check out the video as I said. There's one tablespoon, two tablespoon, three tablespoon, four tablespoon, five tablespoon. Six tablespoon, seven tablespoon. I'm gonna put in nine tablespoon of all make jerk season. So you guys can check out my video. So now I'm just gonna put in my hand in. I'm just gonna rub it up. People are gonna rub in a lot of seasoning it. I want it to get down in it to marinate properly. I'm gonna leave out nothing. But if you season it up and rub it up, if you say one more season, just add a little bit more to it because it's a lot of chicken. So use your season to your discretion. Because I don't know, a lot of you guys ain't gonna do, do too much chicken. I'm using one box of chicken. You can smell that pimento, people. Smell that nutmeg, like that garlic powder. Ah, that thyme, that spring onion, that onion. Get down in it, people. Get down. Woo! Season is burning my eye. Gonna add another two teaspoon, no, two tablespoon of Omex season. Woo! 
Yes, people. Ooh. Rub it up, people. Don't forget to get your hand dirty. Put your hand on in it and rub it up. When you're done, people, I'm gonna put this in the fridge to marinate from overnight, and then tomorrow put it on the grill outside. Then, people, all of that seasoning it. Yeah, you want the season to go all along in it, all on this part where you bore up. Yeah, you don't want to over well it with too much season that's it people we're gonna put it on the grill tomorrow so I'm gonna leave it to marinate overnight hi guys welcome to Selvin kitchen again so this is part two so I seasoned up the chicken from last night. So the chicken is in the fridge, is marinated from last night. So that chicken is well seasoned. So I need the dough already, need the flour for the last one hour. So it's set in, wrap it up in some cling flame. So I'm gonna make a video, show you guys our need the dough, our Friday dumpling. So this has been set in for the last one hour. Look at that people. So I'm gonna fry some dumpling with serve with jerk chicken so now i'm gonna take out the chicken out of the fridge put it in this two tray put some file paper above it stuck it in the oven for 20 minutes and then after i put it outside on the barbecue grill hello guys so i just took out the chicken out of the fridge it's been marinating from last night so this chicken is well seasoned people seasoned to the bone and marinate to the bone Trust me, so I have a two tray, so there's one box of chicken. So now, I'm just gonna put some file paper over it. I wanna seal it, because I'm gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes. So put a piece of the file paper there. So I wanna seal it properly. Don't want to you know, steam to escape out of it. Yes, people. And sorry for the knife at the file paper. So I seal one side there, one tray. Just fold under the file paper underneath the side of the tray. Seal it properly like that. So I'm gonna stop that one in the oven. give it 20 minutes get that one out the way next one yes people I'm gonna give the two of them 20 minutes. So I wanna put in the two of them at the same time. One at the top, one at the bottom. So there, there are the more people, them in the oven. So I'll, I'm gonna put a time on it for 20 minutes. I'll put the oven at 150.
yes people for this aim spin it around I don't want them to burn nice center key of keep it high on them and the key if you do a oven jerk do, do, um, do it in the oven it don't taste like the, the proper jerk like it sweet and the charcoal and you get that smoke you get that flavor from the charcoal everything like that I think the charcoal in my opinion is the, the number one to do jerk chicken beautiful windy day the chilly day today not too warm like in the week it's quite chilly today so I'm just gonna close down this one now gonna shut it down give it another five minutes then I check it again yes my people look at that jerk is coming down nicely so now I just make some jerk sauce what I gonna put on the chicken so you put this on the chicken not the same chicken stock we put in the oven coming up the chicken or to the tray and you put some ketchup in it I put some jerk sauce in it I put some onion in it so I just put put over the chicken like that just want to get the chicken nice and mild so you don't get it a dry chicken when you do a barbecue Put it on this side first. Jerk chicken people, jerk chicken in Selvin kitchen. So when you're doing it and um, the fire is catching up, I have a little bit of jerk sauce here with a little chicken stock. Just give the coal a little bit of wet. Keep that chicken nice and mild and juicy people. So I'll just turn over this side now. people that give that five minutes now come back and check it yes my people so I'm now I'm taking off the first batch Yes guys, you want to look on that. So give me a thumbs up guys. If you like the video, please share the video with your friends and family. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Selvin Kitchen. We're always doing something new people. Oh, that's getting heavy. Beautiful. leave these two pieces at the side to let them soak a bit more yes people so these are the first batch what I take out look at that people have the rest of a year soaking 
It will look a bit windy today, it's quite windy. It's cold, it's burning out, so I'll just give it a turn there and then soak properly. Give that another 10 minutes there. So guys, this is all finished. This is my jerk chicken. One of my subscribers said he wanted to see me jerk some chicken. So this was one is for all of my subscribers them and my page. So check out my rich and my page for the rest of the videos them. I have a lot of delicious, awesome recipe and self in kitchen YouTube page. So check it out. Please give me a thumbs up for the video. I will see you guys in the next video. And please everybody stay safe. Selvin Kitchen, a lot of love.